four of the transesophageal echocardiogram series on intubation tips. Please look for my other videos regarding room setup, consenting, moderate sedation, and most importantly, how to acquire basic images for a cardiology follow. So for intubation tips, the key is to remember to be a ninja. When you're intubating, what would you go really really slow. So the way that I set this up is I have my bite block in with no strap. This is my crude diagram where you can see that the thumb is going to be on the bite block. Your left index finger is going to run into the patient's mouth underneath the lip and you're going to be able to feel as the probe advances through the posterior pharynx and you can actually use this finger to kind of help direct the probe and your three other fingers will go along the side of the face. It's important to double glove your left hand to make sure that you can remove the outer glove after you intubate the patient so that you don't put your uh, hand on the probe that's covered in saliva as it'll be difficult to turn your wheels and it's just um, not as nice for your sonographers. Also, before you advance or intubate, you want to create a slight antiflexion of the probe uh, to kind of follow this pathway through the oropharynx. So after you advance the probe very slowly, um, 15 to 20 centimeters, and you do not want the patient to wake up, you'll feel it stop at the epiglottis. And while you're on the epiglottis with very slight forward pressure, you'll ask the patient to swallow. And if you've given them proper moderate sedation, they'll be able to follow commands and swallow, and then you advance more quickly. And it's important to never, never push or advance against pressure. Just be patient and wait for the epiglottis to open up. If the patient is unable to swallow or follow commands, you've over-sedated the patient. Now, if you're using anesthesia, they are gonna be using propofol, uh, which the neck will be nice and loose. There shouldn't be any tone, so it's really easy uh, for sedation with uh, propofol and getting your probe down. If you're having issues advancing the probe, there's a couple tricks. First, make sure the patient's head and neck and jaw are all within the midline and reposition the patient if you need to. I try to have the patient pull their chin closer to their chest and try that way first, but if that does not work on two attempts, then I'll do a jaw thrust where I'll try to push the neck back and the jaw forward. You can wiggle a little bit back and forth once you're uh, at that area with your big and little knobs to see if you're having too much flexion on the probe. But if both of these issues are not uh, being solved, then you just need to stop and it's possible that the patient has an esophageal stricture or you'll need to do with anesthesia um, uh, for your case. So be sure to see my separate talk on tips and techniques for acquiring basic TE images.